my chit chat, give y'all a little, a little something. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all a little something. We are going to talk about the next one. This one I, I, I wasn't sure about because it felt like it sat on top. Or if on in some pieces like it was just sitting there, but then in other pieces it felt like it was taken too, like it went in too quickly, and I was like, what the hell? But want the key to this, let it sit. When you let it sit, and I think it's because I also kind of didn't get as much the detangling part out as I should have. So that's my thought on that. I'll say that's my bad on that part that that so once I actually fully got it any little shed hairs that wanted to come out and I let it sit I liked it way better than the initial application so with this product is trial and error I'm not gonna say it's a bad product I also have to keep using it over time too some stuff you just yeah oh yes and you just love it immediately this one, I'm not going to side eye it, but I'm not going to give it the thumbs up the hell yeah, I buy it again. No, this is definitely not a, ugh, hell no, nah, what the fuck? Because it was my error. Should have detangled a little bit better. I kind of was in a rush when I kind of threw it on there. Usually when I do my leave-ins, I detangle too and let it just do its thing. Uh, once it sat and I let it sit for a minute, then I was able to detangle. So the product I'm talking about, this is the Miel Mango and Tulsi Nourish and Leave-In Conditioner for the hair and the scalp. Let's get into packaging is everything. Smell is everything. Smells like a tropical oasis. And I use this much. I wasn't sure how this was going to go on because you see how it moves. But my hair took to it. I had to, the key when using this, if you got hair like mine or your hair is a little thicker, let this sit for at least five, ten minutes first before you kind of start. Once it sits and it fully absorbs, you'll like it better. Some stuff I can easily just kind of, hmm, detangle with it. What? No, not, not this. You don't want to do that. So, <laughs> what do I think about this product, y'all? Smell is everything. This is something that may have to grow with time. I'm so there's learning curves. Let's get into ingredients first, the ones that I can see because the packaging is kind of colorful. There's water, cedar alcohol, fatty alcohol, propylene glycol, the polyquat 37, I believe. That's the moisture. I think. Then there's um the capillary. Let me get into the ones I can pronounce. How about that? <laughs> Bentramonium chloride. Okay, there's benzoic acid. All right. There is glycerin. There's a coconut oil. Salsa leaf oil. Mango seed butter. Love mango. Grape seed oil. Mm-hmm. Aloe vera leaf juice. Orange fruit extract, sugar cane extract, lemon fruit extract, olive oil, almond oil, shea butter, lavender tree oil, sesame seed oil, tea tree oil, and the fragrance is at the bottom. So, this is definitely... What the hell was on my... Ew. Had something that was not cute on the mirror. Had to get. I'm probably gonna have to call uh, the apartment people and have them do a better job with these little things. Or somebody in my new apartment needs some damn pest control. Cause there's no way. <laughs> I don't keep a nasty apartment. So somebody got something. They need to seal these, seal the corners, spray everywhere. 
when the guy came Friday, he didn't do a good job. That's besides the point. This this mango and Tulsi leave-in conditioner smells good. It goes on the hair. Like you just scoop it and put it on there. It's what's the right word for it? I said of the products that I've used, I'm feeling this the least out of five products. Because there's seven products. Love the shampoo, love the rinse out. I love the two heat protectants. And I love the mousse. This, I don't hate this, but I like this the least. I still have the gel to try, which I'll try at a later time. Of course, I try, you know, in different stages. This is going to have to grow on me. But this is not the worst leave-in. No, no. <laughs> this does not feel nothing like the... You, the key to this is let this sit. Once it sits, you'll have a better understanding of it. So, before I let it sit, it was like a C. However, once you let it sit, you are able to layer this with like an oil or a styler. It's better when it sits anyway. So, it's like it gets better over time. Because when you first put it on, you'll be like, I don't think so. This is just not quite it but once you let it sit you're like oh okay I, it feels better it's like a mature leave-in it's not like immediate girl yes but it's not like a oh hell no like stop it's gotta grow on you and when it does and you let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes you like, oh, okay. now you might might be able to use this with some heat or like a plastic bag or something. I'm trying to see what the direction says. You don't rinse out. No, you don't. It says you can use it as a curl cream for like a wash and go. And then you just style as desired. Okay, so this is supposed to do like a dual purpose, like a leave-in and slash curl cream, I guess. It may work better to you as like a curl cream and then you seal it in. But my hair need all the moisture. So after I'd used this and then I paired it with like my oil and then I, the mousse, my hair feels lovely. So I will say over time it got better. Because initially, I ain't going to lie, I wasn't feeling it at first. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, but let me just, some said, just let it see. You might like it. And I'm glad I did. So that's my opinion on those two products. They, with a conditioner, I have to use it over time. It did what it needed to do, and that's it. The meal one, I still have to use that over time. to form. Maybe once my technique gets a little bit better with that. But you know when you hate products. And then you know when you love products. So I said those two are both going to be in the middle products. But that's it, y'all, my fans. Um, good night, good morning, good evening. I'm going to say good night because it's where I'm at. But if it's morning, where you at? Morning. And adios.